what's up guys hope you're doing good today we're going to be seeing a new plugin of course something really nice i think that's something that a lot of you have been asking for it's the new sop standard operating procedure the system that we've put in place so that you can have sops built in your system in your ghl account and share with the users of the sub accounts and even have it all across your agency in social media or other sub accounts can have it have one place where they can have all their sops built out it's really easy if you've bought the sop of course you should have it among your menu items when you click on it you're gonna have this link that shows up it's basically the same thing no configuration nothing that you need to do all you got to do is copy this link and go to your agency account and put it as a custom menu link of course by now i'm sure you know how to put anything as a custom menu link within your ghl account so Fast forward, after you've done that, the next thing to do is to just give the appropriate name, put it to show in the accounts that you want, in the sub accounts that you want. In this case, I put it in this sub account called SOP, at the link called SOP and in some other sub accounts too that we are going to see. And so when you we put that, you're going to see just one thing. In this case, you're just going to see the blank SOP here. Let me explain to you how the sections work. This section is more of the templates and these templates are the things that either your agency admin has shared across for all sub accounts so let's say you are in the niche and you have some sops that are general to everyone you might want to share to everyone in your agency so since i am an agency admin when i come this way i can decide to share the sop by clicking inside by clicking inside and set as template and once i set that as template every person in the agency every sop user in the agency is going to see that as a template as you can see here on the upper side of the SOP and can directly use it make a copy and edit it however he wants or just use it create a new SOP by clicking here and it produces a blank sheet this one is definitely not a kind of Google Google Doc kind of thing it's more of a simpler way to enumerate things in SOP format when you come you have this little add icon and all you can do is choose how you want it to add coming the first thing is that you can you have a couple of um, items you can use the text the title the heading the link nested checklist and all of these things easy to use because you've used google docs so you know how it works it's, it's a little bit like that but a little bit simpler let me show you a couple of other important things that you can do so let's just say that we've got let's just say that we've got some text that we want to put into use i'm gonna i'm gonna grab a quick test to make the usage more easier to understand and sure enough i'm just gonna add the text that i got cool and you can see quite all right you can see how what i just copied from the lorem ipsum site and just pasted here you can actually arrange it to fit however you want it to look like you can indent it this way you can do whatever you need to make it look how you want how your sop should look but basically all is left to you to format it how you want it that's how it works and so the sop can take a lot more than just text you can have uh, loom videos you can have youtube videos and i could just grab a couple of videos to show how this works i just grab the loom video and all you need to do if you got the loom link you just need to put it and directly loads the video on the whole on the page directly and you can add in the, the title that you want whatever you want you feel like done and apart from that i think one thing that people are going to be using a lot checklist and let's say that you want to add an image you can add an attachment a file directly into the the, the, the document here yep and it's there so you can add a lot of things and of course this is just the first version a lot of things come in again tagging people and other into it you can add other links and really mark it to be how you want your sop to look and so you can save And after saving, let's say that you wanted to, right, I'm just going to save one more time. So after saving, there are a couple of more things that you can do. And for, of course, you can see what, what I just worked on, the, the first Loom SOP, and it kind of has a snapshot of what the document looks to orientate you. 
there are a couple of things that you can do to even make the SOP experience more interesting. The first thing is that you can share the SOP via a link. It's, it's a white level link or gray level link, I would say, to someone out of your organization. The person can just put it and, and definitely you can see the SOP shared with him, but it's just read only. It's a read only format, but he can follow all the procedures of the SOPs, download an, a PDF. And then the second thing, that is just the first way of sharing. The second thing is that you can tell the person to send you the receiving ID on his site or her site and you can share only to their sub account by clicking on share and putting the receiving id and share and it's going to go to the person directly the person is going to receive it here as templates right here and will be able to use it of course if you come say to this to a template or to a shared document you can you can in this case i put it as template but you can get a copy and when you get a copy you can now edit it as yours by doing everything that is in there and at the end save it give it a new name and you're good to go it becomes your document you can do whatever you want to do with it you can share the sop this is an mvp version of sop and i think that it's going to be really useful for agencies and for for sub accounts to document their processes from beginning to end